When you really start to think about it, one month is a really long time. In that time span, you can see all of the leaves go from green to yellow to some trees not even having any leaves at all anymore. With the help of Netflix, a month seems like no time at all anymore because we can just sit there and binge watch our favorite TV shows and then out of nowhere a month's gone. In the time that passes through the course of a month, you can get a promotion at the job that you've been working at for eight years. And that throws you for a loop because you've had the same two days off in a row for the last two to three, four years even, and it's something completely new. Something else completely new is immersing yourself in a video game series that you've been meaning to immerse yourself in for years, but you've just never gotten around to it. I finally decided to immerse myself into Kingdom Hearts, and oh boy, did I ever immerse myself into those games. I immersed myself so much into those games that I basically did nothing else with my days off except play those games because I wanted to try and finish them as quickly as possible. I don't know why I wanted to finish them as quickly as possible because they were such great games and all of the Disney environments were so fun to play in. Maybe that's why I wanted to finish them so quickly is because I just wanted to keep playing because everything was just so much fun. I didn't finish them 100%, but I finished them as much 100% like as I wanted to, and that's all that I could have really asked for. I even went as far as to watch the cinematic sequences of the two games in between Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, just so that I could have a fuller understanding of what I was getting into when I played Kingdom Hearts 2. How did anyone play Kingdom Hearts 2 without any of the knowledge that comes from 358 over 2 days? That was such a helpful experience, and I knew so much going into Kingdom Hearts 2. Not doing something for a month also helps you realize just how much you miss something that you love to do if you don't do it for that long, even if you felt like you were burnt out during that period. Not even necessarily just burnt out, it's more like out of ideas that continually happens more often than you want to admit. It really makes you think about why you love doing the things you do, and taking a seat and just sitting back and thinking about it for a while is a really good exercise. It helps replenish your batteries, for lack of a better analogy. Take as much time as you need to figure out whatever you need to figure out, because even if one month seems like a very long time right now, essentially because it is, in the long term, it's not a long time at all.